Hello everyone, in this video we will study about uh, IP that is internet protocol and its datagram format. Here we have the internet network layer. Before studying about the internet layer, we know the functionalities of the network layer that is we have the addressing as well as the forwarding which are the functionalities of the uh, network layer. So here addressing and forward, forwarding these are the important components of the internet protocol. So we will uh, study the uh, major components of uh, internet network layer here. This internet network layer it has three uh, main components. The first uh, component here is the IP protocol. We can see the IP protocol here. So here uh, the IP protocol uh, it contains addressing conversions, datagram format and packet uh, handling conventions. The second major component it is the routing component. So this routing component it is going to find the path or datagram follows from source to destination. So we have the routing protocols that compute the forwarding table forwarding the packets through the network. And the last and the final component of the this network layer it is going to facilitate and report the errors in the datagram and respond to request for certain network layer information. So these three are the major components of the uh, internet network layer. Next we have the IP datagram format. Uh, the network layer packets it is usually referred as the datagrams and uh, the packets what we are going to transmit through the network layer even they are considered as the datagram. So here we have the IP datagram format and uh, the key fields in this IP datagram uh, format that is the IPv4 datagram format uh, we can see them here. The total it is of 32 bit length and the first one is the version number ver it's going to stand for version number we can see it here version number so these four bits they are going to specify the ip protocol version of the datagram that is which datagram we are sending from source to destination it's going to follow which version of the ip protocol so by looking at the version number the router can determine how to uh, interpret the reminder of the IP datagram. So different version of the IP datagrams they are going to use the di different datagram formats. So the datagram format for the current version of IP and IPv4 is so uh, we can see it here that is uh, it's going to use the IPv4 format. Next we have the header length that is HE head length that is considered as a head length. We can see the header length there. Uh, again this is uh, uh, this is the header length uh, uh, here this uh, this is also of four bits which are needed to determine where in the IP datagram the data actually begins that is we have the header length if it is of four bytes the next part is considered as an actual data so most of the IP datagrams do not contain the options so typically the IP datagram it has the 20 bytes header Next we have it as a type of service. The type of service it is usually considered as TOS. Uh, these bits were included in the IPv4 header to allow different types of IP datagrams. Uh, these datagrams they are used to distinguish uh, from one another. That is so for example uh, it, it is useful to distinguish real time datagrams from the non real uh, datagrams that is uh, non real traffic datagrams. So they are going to differentiate the types of service that is being used. Next we have the field uh, which you have it as a datagram length. So this is the total length of the IP datagram uh, which is going to contain header plus data. It is usually measured in terms of bytes and this field it is of 16 bits long. So usually theoretically we will say it as the IP datagram it has 65535 bytes but the datagrams are uh, rarely they are larger than 1500 bytes. The next field we have here is um, 16 bit identifiers. Uh, they are usually considered as identifiers, flags and fragmentation offset. All together we have it as a 32 bits length whereas identifier itself is 16 bit length. So usually these three fields so they, they, ha they, they are used only during the IP fragmentations. That is uh, when we divide the large data into smaller parts then in that case we are going to use the identifiers flags and fragmentation offset fields next we have the time to leave so this time to leave that is ttl 
uh, this field is included to ensure that datagrams do not circulate forever in the network so this field is uh, decremented by one each time in the datagram it is preceded by the router that is if it is visits one of the host then it the ttl value will be decreased by one when it moves to the next host again the tt val ttl value will be decreased by one so if the ttl field it reaches the zero then the datagram will be dropped in the network next we have it as a protocol that is the upper layer we usually consider it as a protocol in this uh, uh, this field it is mainly used when an ip datagram reaches its final destination the value of this field indicates the specific transport layer protocol to which the data portion of the ip datagram should be passed for example if this uh, field has a value as 6 then it's going to indicate that the data portion that is data portion it has to be passed to tcp protocol if the value is 17 then the data portion has to be passed to udp protocol so uh, if the protocol value is 6 then it will be given to the upper layer that is uh, uh, upper layer protocol that is to the tcp if the value is 17 then it will be passed to the upper layer protocol udp next we have it as a uh, that is over next we have it as flags next we have actually headers checksum we can see it here header checksum field the header checksum it's going to aid a routing in detecting bit errors in the received datagrams the header checksum it is computed by your uh, treating each two bytes in the header as a number and summing these numbers and using one's complement arithmetic so the one's complement of this sum we usually call it as a internet checksum which is stored in the in this checksum field so a router computes the header checksum for each received IP, IP datagram and detects an error condition if the checksum is carried in the datagram header. If uh, after comparison if they both are not equal then uh, it is going to discard the packet. Otherwise uh, if, the, if it gets all the values as one then it is going to accept the packets. We already computed uh, the checksum for UDP that is the UDP checksum calculation. Similarly, ha we have the checksum calculations for the TCP as well. So, the next field is about uh, source and uh, destination addresses. Uh, when a source creates a datagram, it is going to insert its IP address into the source IP address field and inserts the address of the uh, destination into the destination IP address field. And based on this, uh, the DNS is going to look into its table and find the appropriate path from source to destinations. Next, we have the options field. So, the options field is going to allow an IP header to be extended. That is, uh, it, if headers options they are used rarely and the decision of overload it is not possible. So, here uh, uh, the datagram header, it can be of variable length and one cannot determine a prior where the data field will start so for this purpose we are using the optional field which is used rarely most of the time we are not going to use this field so next we have the data or payload uh, this is the final and the most important uh, field and uh, here the data field of the ip datagram it's going to contain the transport layer segments either uh, tcp or TC udp segments which need to be delivered to the destination so here ip datagram it has uh, total of 20 bytes of header we know that the ip it is the total of 20 bytes of header if the datagram carries a tcp segments then each datagram carries total 40 bytes of the header 20 bytes is for ip and 20 bytes is for tcp header it is carried along with an application message so here we have a question explain ip datagram format in detail thank you